sorry for the wait. Many thanks to you all. It appears to have arrived safely. And I see other familiar faces as well. You must be the trio of Titans. Yes, thank you for finding what we sought. This Soma is very precious. It connects me to those who are most important to me. Someone discovered it at the bottom of the ocean. I see. Perhaps my brother hid it there. No wonder I was unable to find it. I found my hero. Too bad it doesn't shout things like, I'm going to be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remind me of, well, us, actually. What you mean? I don't know, they just do. I think so too. It's because they wish to test their own strength. That might be it. Now, prepare yourselves! I'll fight to the end! Behold! The Holy Maiden! Everyone ready? You're not doing so bad there yourself, Asbel. You are indeed powerful. We've been utterly defeated. Thank you for the fight. I thought the legendary guardians would be a bit stronger. Strength is more than feats of arms. Despite our loss, we know that real strength comes from cultivating a strong spiria. A strong spiria, a strong heart. I cannot argue with that. <laughs> you remind me of an artist friend of mine. It has been long since I fought this hard in battle, and I have missed it greatly. Thank you, Asbel. Work hard and keep aspiring to new heights. I will do my best. Thank you for the lesson, Guardians. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. So long, Funky Guardians. So long.
I can't believe we just defeated the Guardians. They're the world's strongest warriors. The way those three protected each other, I thought their defense was impregnable. But I guess you can always find a way. The guys back home are never going to believe this! I wonder if anyone will believe us. Those who defeat the Guardians usually assume the position, so it might be a hard story to sell. That's right. I'd forgotten about that rule. I hope they don't expect us to... Oh, I turned them down already. When did that happen? On the way out. I said we're busy. Pity. Part of me wishes you hadn't. Yeah, come on! If I'd said yes, we'd never be able to leave this island. Captain, we have a mission to finish. Yes, I suppose. Wow, Captain, that's so rare for you to back down. It's hard to face anger from one who is often calm. <laughs> What do you think? Does this new ribbon look good on me? Yes, it's very cute, Sharia. Thanks, Sophie. Maybe I should show it to Asbel. Show me what? Oh, perfect timing. Look at this, Asbel. Pretty cute, right? Um... So what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. It's a really good choice considering the, um... climate around here. The climate? Uh, well, at least you liked it. Thanks. Are you happy, Sharia? Of course. I think Asbel really liked it. Oh, wait, Captain. Look at this. Did you cut your hair? No, I didn't cut it. Strange. Asbel just told me that you cut your hair. Why would he lie? Ugh, that jerk. He didn't even notice my ribbon. He thought I was talking about a haircut. Unbelievable. It's okay. Keep trying. Tell it to Asbel. Hey, can I see that anklet, Sophie? Okay, sure. That's totally new. Let me get a closer look. Here, can I take it off? Okay. Let's try this on for s- Oof, bananas! This thing is heavy! It is? I- I can barely lift my leg! Sophie, wouldn't you be able to move around faster without this thing? Maybe, but it provides the weight behind my kicks. Dude, being kicked by this thing would hurt! Oh, I should try kicking the captain! Here, wait a sec. First, count to three, then kick. Okay, big kick coming up! One, two, three! Whoa! Pascal was pulled into the air by her own foot. Oh my gosh, that was awesome! Wait, wait, once more. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Hey, what the hell? Got him! Captain, you smell like the inside of a barn. You need a bath. I thought I'd try out a new cologne. You don't care for it? It's a wonderful fragrance. And the only one who needs a bath here is you, Pascal. Some perfume wouldn't kill you either. Do you like fragrances, Sharia? Yes, and this one especially. It's kind of sweet, but still quite elegant. I could let you borrow some. If you don't mind, I'll take just a little. Hey, Asbel. Yeah? Now hold still, okay? Hey, don't spray people in the face with cologne! She thinks you need a bath, Asbel. What? But I bathe every single day. Mmm, you smell great. If you're going to use it like that, buy your own.
the color. Let's go!
tight, or I feel some peril. A bit hot under the collar. Into the depths of the Not at all. You're Are you Solomus? Um, we've come to... well, you see... We're here to stop you from destroying the world. Oh, and I need the lab comp back, you okay? I am the one designated Solomus. Master and architect of the Chroma Dragons which bind the Valcanus Creus. Thou may reclaim thy toy. A Marcian dabbling in ancient wisdom no longer amuses me. Wow, I didn't think Solomus would just hand it over. Solomus, why are you trying to destroy the world? Thou art as a child filled with questions, and yet you understand nothing. I seek only to save this world. I am the satellite defense system which rules the Aquasphere and Aphinia. Lambda has broken the chains of bondage and even now runs free over the world. It is my sworn province to stop this threat by whatever means I deem necessary. Your protection will destroy us all. I must gather more Elith here. Just you wait. I shall slaughter the feeble animals that live on the surface. Your plan ends here and now, and by these hands. You would do best not to underestimate us. There's nowhere left to run. I would not deign to flee such as thou. Prepare yourself, Solomus. Can't be screwing around this time. Impudence! Die! 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 Die
defeated me. The very thought fills me with dismay. What are you so afraid of? With this, Lambda's strength grows ever greater. It may now be too great for even thee to defeat. What are you talking about? I gathered the surface Elith in this place so as to prevent Lambda from absorbing it. I slaughtered countless animals and claimed their Elith. Livestock, monsters, beasts. Nothing was spared. Oh my gosh. Wait. So if you were trying to stop Lambda, we just made a terrible mistake. We never should have fought you. Solomus is wrong, Asbel. The only reason this happened is because the system went all kooky. Now we have to restore it to its original state. How do we do that? Hmm... Oh, hey! That's it! The lab comp should totally be able to reboot this place! Look at you, sis! Your little invention is gonna save the world! Okay, here we go! Huh? What? What have I been doing? You did it! I sure did! Wait, what's that? Yowzers! It's a chick in her underwear! Uh, Sophie, don't look! What's wrong? It's, uh, not for children. Oh, she's kind of hot. Ugh. I've seen better. Hey, 
hey guys, I think that's something Frederick was looking at. The old man's got taste. Ew, Grandpa! Oh my gosh, he's got like 600 more pictures on this thing. This is why he borrowed the lap comp? Unbelievable! Grandpa, this is disgusting! You have to stop! Oh, dear. You are never to touch the lap comp ever again, do you hear me? But... Sharia, he's a grown man. Think about it from his perspective and just... Don't you dare try to keep that picture. My head. Uh, yeah, mine hurts too. Now that Solomus is back to normal, the Elith levels are dropping. It looks like we won't need to worry about it affecting us anymore. Well, it looks like our business here is done. Come on, Frederick. Let's go home. My apologies, Lord Asbel, but... You see, even as we speak, Salamis is beginning to gather Elith anew. What? Why? If humans wish to continue in peace, the Termitan must live on in some form. For the time being, Frederick and I will need to move between here and the surface. I guess, just be careful. Thank you, Sharia. So then, as you can see, I'll be needing the lap comp back. Nice try. Well, I guess we should be off. We still have lots to do. Thank you.